Hey, let's do something on the bus. No! No? Here are the things that we did differently on Windows Round 2, which made everything go a little bit easier. First of all, instead of bringing this drip rail to the ground, we put it up on the roof. The second thing is, I didn't go overboard this time with the angle grinder and the wire wheel. I just used it on the really problematic rust spots, like this one and this one. I really need to chew some of that rust out that's the only places I used the angle grinder. And that way I didn't take off a bunch of the finish where it wasn't necessary. Instead, I used a drill with a brass attachment that I was able to really scale how heavy it was digging in. The third thing I did was I brushed on the primer instead of spraying it on. This allowed me to be a little bit more accurate with it. It might have taken a little bit longer, but it was you know, easier in the end, and I don't have to worry about having this stuff on this Rust-Oleum rusty metal primer uh, so much on the painted surfaces. Now I've got to prep all these windows. Yay! More busy work. I actually love mindless busy work. Well, I know I said I love you, baby, but nothing here is ever as it seems. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Woo! I totally failed at taking videos of this window install. Working on this fence is fun. Yeah, it's nice that Charles lets us use his yard this is my for fence. all of our stuff. This is my fence. It's our fence, but this is not our yard. I feel like ideally we'd have a finish coat on top of these areas that were rusty but we're rolling the dice. So we've installed these windows with butyl tape. In terms of water getting into these windows, we have three lines of defense. <laughs> Number one is the butyl tape. The second one is the Cicaflex, which I've put along this seam and in the hopes that water will just beat off of it. But really, water is not even supposed to get behind the drip rail. Which is not on right now. It's not on, which hides all this ugly stuff. So you're not gonna see any of this. So a drip rail, Cicaflex, butyl tape, windows, <laughs> hopefully no water on the bus. All of the voices in the Valvoline, they are trying to relate to me. All of the horny invertebrate dreams of my vagrancy. And the angels have done, they are calling out for clemency. Out along the highway, plain forever. You sent them here to follow me She got the telephone blues And wine skin in your shoes You got the afternoon gas station Ransom in her booths And they say that every woman Some of these seals you can see that they're, they're holding water still. So most of them down the bus are dry. And you can see that this seal's just gone and it's gone on the inside as well. This one you can see right here and there's a little gap right there. We only had water in this window and that other window. So I'll show you in a little bit how I'm gonna fix that. In the corners of these windows, there's a metal seam. Well, I don't think it's a serious point of water intrusion. I think some water could be coming in there. I can usually find out pretty quickly if it's going to be a problem or not because some of them pull away really easily, like that one. So I'm taking that out so that I can redo it as well. Brake cleaner is an aerosol powered spray that you can use to degrease, pull out dirt and dust, and it dries really quickly. So because I can't really get my fingers in there to wipe super well, this is what I'm using. <laughs> I decided to use JB Weld 
to seal these holes. So that is what it looks like when it's done. I'm gonna do it for all the rest of the seams. Every woman just dying to cut loose. But not every woman wants to be fell in love with two. You can say what you mean, but don't say that you never. Go in the comment section if you feel like it and let me know what you think about using this metal to metal JB weld. Let me know what you think about it being, you know, reacting to UV rays or it's long term um, weatherproofing. Oh, cool. Ring. Oh, breakfast is ready. I think it's five o'clock. Now for the spots that I have to replace this rubber window gasket, I wanted something that was um, a sealant, obviously, that was going to stay rubbery and flexible. Proflex REV flexible sealant. You know God don't love you, baby, but the Lord knows I wish I would. Okay, so that's my little repair job. I think it looks pretty good. We gotta touch up this one over here too. Here too. Then I did that. In conclusion, in order to prevent water from entering the bus, we have a gutter. And in that gutter, there is a rubber gasket that at some places gaps just a little bit. And so I've put Cicaflex 221 to seal that gap. Like you can see, it's, it was a tiny gap, but it's gonna make a difference. Then underneath the gutter, we have the windows which are sealed up top with Cicaflex as well. They're sealed up top with butyl tape. They're sealed on the sides with butyl tape. And then we have the actual rubber seals of the windows. And because they were still leaking in a select few areas, I used GeoCell Proflex to recreate that seal. And in the corners, where the metal meets the metal, I used JB Weld. Hopefully that'll give us a leak-free bus, but I will continue to monitor it and look for anything that I've missed over time. And thus concludes the saga of the windows, we hope. Well, hey. She's having her dinner a little early. Oh. How many dinners does she have a day? 15? 4 to 6. 32?